Hey everyone, this is an intro to the video I'm about to release for you for each of your sun signs, but I did want to let you know that I am aware of the grainy, um, the video quality is kind of grainy because the lighting was a bit off and I didn't notice how much that was reflecting in the video until the end. So I just wanted to make the uh, intro to let you know that I am aware. All right. So without further ado, here is your video. Welcome Aries. This is going to be your weekly love reading for May 28th to June the 4th. 2018 so we're going to look into what's going on with you see what's up fourth week of june may 28th so we already have a card that popped out um the ace of pentacles is in reverse and sometimes these could be obstacles to plans that you might have uh bad spending habits delays in receiving something that you actually want um an offer not coming through right away so there could be money issues popping out so we'll um i'll place that back in We'll see that if that may come back out or not. All right. Let's see energy fairs for May twenty eighth to June fourth. All right. In love, this is your love reading. All right. So we we'll check the overall energy and theme for Aries in love. May twenty eighth to June fourth. Overall energy and theme. So we do have the Ace of Cups, and for many of you, you're feeling something for somebody. This is an opportunity to express yourself. Um, another person could be feeling this way towards you as well. Could be a water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. But this is something that is um, immersing you, like you're immersed in it. You're feeling good. Um, maybe expecting something. It could be a child. It could be joy, um, friendship, or just love in general um, with you being around a certain person. It doesn't have to be a water sign. All right. All right. Now let's see. The person or energy coming towards you for Aries. Person or energy coming towards Aries. That person may have uh, some conflict with you, and there could be arguments, disputes, just you two not agreeing on certain things, and it doesn't necessarily have to be physical altercations. Sometimes it could be those kind of things, or someone could be um, angry with you if you're in love with someone other than that particular person that could be an issue that some of you might be experiencing um, or just disagreements with you and your romantic partner um, we'll see why that might be there all right so be careful with that energy now your response to that conflict your response death your now when I see that you know conflict you think about death no um, this is maybe threats or sometimes arguments but a lot of you are moving on from something maybe you say well you know i'm not going to get into that argument i'm not going to <clears throat> i'm not going to <laughs> you know express yourself in a way that you usually do maybe you are moving away changing the patterns that you may have experienced in the past so that you can move into a newer cycle so you can kind of see death and you see the ace of cups that we was talking about which is a new beginning this is something that ends but there's also a new beginning there as well so a lot of you may be moving on and letting go of something that's not working any longer. All right, and it could be with the Scorpio. It doesn't have to be. All right, your advice for the week, for Aries. Your advice. Hello. The King of Wands, and this is you focusing on material wealth. Maybe for some of you out there, um, sometimes this is being a leader in your own community with your marriage, with your romantic partner, doing things like you would want to be done to you. So it's like. Um, practicing what you preach so to speak but a lot of you may be having some ideas and plans that you want to move forward so this tells you to go ahead and do that so try to be ambitious about it and uh, reach for those opportunities all right now it could be a fire sign that some of you are dealing with as well now the outcome for the week for areas in love outcome. oh yeah See, we have the Ace of Pentacles here. Now, we had it in the beginning. So, when that happens like that, I was wondering, I'll place it back in the um, in the deck and start to shuffle. You know, it's going to come back out in the upright position. So, some of you on two different sides of the spectrum where you're spending a lot of money um, and then having issues with replacing it. A lot of you, these are new opportunities in um, careers. So, that's why we have the King of Wands there as well. So, there are opportunities for you to reach for something. Whether or not you do it just depends. Okay. So, um, let's clarify Let's clarify the Ace of Cups for Aries. Clarify the Ace of Cups. Yeah, we have the Page of 
a pinnacles here so it could be a capricorn virgo or taurus it could be a younger person it could be um, a new beginning this is um, a new job um, that could keep you away from this particular particular emotional opportunity for some of you out there something creative something that um, really entices you to kind of uh, start a new beginning so there is something good there working on your health you know those kind of things all right um clarify the five of wands for aries clarify the five of wands for the person coming towards you and this is a pisces scorpio or cancer just depends and i feel like this is the person that may have love for you as well you know you two feel it you two may not be able to act on it, but something is wrong. And a lot of times this person could be someone who's very intuitive and it can sense that there's conflict or something that you may not be speaking about, something that's going on for some of you out there. So I feel like they are aware of an issue. Um, it just depends on what that might be and who it might be with, all right? Now, clarify death for Aries. Yep, the past. Letting go of the past, and for a lot of you, that's what that conflict could be about. Some of you are um, intertwined in some kind of um, emotional conflict, um, inner conflict of past issues, past hurts. Sometimes it's even your own romantic partner. It doesn't have to be another person. It could be your own emotions about dealing with resentment or um, anger from past issues that you're still holding on to and having troubles with truly releasing that. So that could be a problem for a lot of you and a lot of you are letting go of somebody that's having issues with letting you go so that could be um tough for them as well all right and i feel like it does take for a lot of you to get that new job or um other opportunities sources of income so that you can save so that you can get out of maybe the household or the place that you are in now so that you can um experience this love opportunity if it's new love or just a renewal for, for some of you right so let's see let's clear messages for Aries from the romance angels let's see uh, two cards romance angels. oh we have let's see calling in your soulmate your prayers and affirmations and visualizations help bring you together for a lot of you out there you may not be together with that particular person just yet but a lot of you are getting through a tough patch an older experience so that you can experience something new all right and let's see that's a favorite book oh, this card fell out too <laughs> interesting express your love it says go ahead and make the romantic gesture and for a lot of you that's the energy of you holding back not really sure if you want to express yourself maybe sometimes or some of you you have already you didn't receive the response that you wanted but i feel like there's something where a lot of you are needing to clear up something that you are um tangled in to move forward into a new beginning so you have two well three uh opportunities here with a page um that's a court card but it's a younger energy and i feel like a lot of you are working on something some kind of stability but it's uh opportunities to manifest your dreams or what you actually want so um one two three three people showing up here the page of pentacles the queen of cups and then you have the king of wands so um, it just depends one younger person could be a child um, and two older people that could be uh, in a mix here so that's going to be your reading i do hope that the messages did help you out lots of love lots of light to you in terms of healing vibes and make sure that if you would like to you can always go to the website psychiclovehills.com schedule something for you have a good one